Hey guys, so on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating to the newest iOS. So first of all, to do that, just go into your settings. Under your settings, before doing the update, I always suggest making a backup. If you guys have iCloud, any iCloud space, do it from there, or else connect it up to your computer. If you have Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. Whichever you have, it will work with iTunes. iTunes is a free program. You guys can use that to make your backup. The backup is done just in case something goes wrong. So if you guys scroll down to general, second option where it says software update you guys should see this coming up and you guys should see download and install in some cases some of you may see install already and that's because your iphone ipad or ipod touch might have already downloaded but not installed okay so just be aware that when you click on download it's just gonna do exactly that download so at this point, it doesn't really matter if your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch turns off or something goes wrong, it's just downloading. But when it's installing, yeah, it can be a major issue if this shuts down. So make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. I always have it hooked up to some electricity when I'm making any updates, just in case. Even if I'm at 100%, I still do that. And I know it's not good. Well, it's not that great to have your iPhone hooked up when it's at 100% battery. I still do it. Anyways. Let's just click on download and install. It will ask you for your passcode if you guys have one. Then like I said, it's going to download. The download itself won't take that long. It does say, well for me it's saying 7 minutes. Um, my internet isn't that great right now, but still it shouldn't take on average more than 2 minutes. It's not a huge update, don't worry about it. And um, if you guys don't have any space to make a backup, although I'm highly suggesting it, <laughs> since it's such a small update. I guess it'll be okay and no not everybody has to update if you guys don't have any problems with iOS right now I actually wouldn't update because although this new update does fix problems that you guys could or maybe don't have you will see other problems in this new update like any update there's always some glitches in there so we're just gonna wait for this to download and then it's gonna install once it's done downloading you guys will see this so you guys can Click on install now or later. So right now I clicked on install now. It's going to verify. It's going to turn off the screen. Then you guys will see a white screen app logo loading bar. And it's just going to restart and turn on again. That's it. That's it for this update. If you guys have any questions, comments, write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.